the Asmodus Blank RDA. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Venfik here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Asmodus Blank RDA. Sat on top of the Asmodus Almighty mod. We have just done a video for this. Check that out if you missed it. A very cool 21700 mod. But we're, today we're looking at the RDA, the Blank RDA. 24mm wide, top airflow, goon tips, single coil. Single coil. It's a single coil RDA. Squonky and non-squonky, really well made from Asmodus as always, and uh, very affordable and available in a range of colours. I just want to get straight down low so you can see the build, see what it, the deck looks like, see how this top airflow works, and uh, then we'll come back up top for pros and cons, of which there are kind of a real mixed bag. Um, so, see you in a sec. Okay guys, this is the blank RDA from Watofo, 24mm wide, this is the black version. Um, starting at the top, goon fitting tips. Now, not all of my goon tips are fitting on here. It's got like one of these O-rings going on. Uh, a couple of them have fit, a couple of them haven't fit. So, yeah, don't say you weren't warned. Uh, but it is an 810 goon tip uh, on top. You've got your adjustable airflow. You spin the whole barrel to adjust this. I will, I'll show you that in a second. You've then got underneath as modus, blank, um, underneath there and uh, it does come with a squonk pin so you can squonk with this and it squonks really nice really really nice fills up nicely doesn't flood all that sort of stuff so yeah it squonks great uh, so you can use it on a squonker be really good on something like a bassium something like that nice high power regulated uh, device but there we go that is what it looks like I will attach it to my little hands woodcraft uh, atty stand so uh, you can see how it works so the airflow you basically spin the barrel and you've got all these holes all the way around. This is a single coil RDA, remember. You've got all this airflow all the way around and obviously closing it off, you go like that, that's halfway and they all turn halfway. Um, so yeah, absolute uh, buku of air available if you want it. Opening her up, you can see how it works. So the air goes in this hole it goes in this hole then it comes out of these holes up here and then it goes in to these holes here and then it comes out of those holes on the inside there so that is how the airflow works it's going in down and out and it's pretty smooth considering it's doing all that it is pretty smooth a pretty smooth vape in terms of the deck itself really deep really deep the coils sit way high up here i mean it's not high in terms of the whole rda but it's high in terms of off the deck and uh it's yeah nice deep juice well really deep and you just line in your air hole your coil down there obviously you have to attach it like this and like this it's like the groove system where you put it in that groove tighten your screw down same in here, so it's like the coil forms like an S shape like that, like we've seen quite a few times recently. Uh, so that is the deck. I'll go and put a coil in here, and then uh, I'll show you again. All right, guys, here we are with it all built up, built up, wicked up. Pretty, pretty simple, really. Uh, one lead goes in there, one lead goes in here. Be nice if you could do it either way around, but if you wrap it counterclockwise, then uh, no issues at all. Coil down the middle in line with these airflow holes. Then you just stuff your uh, stuff your cotton in. Happy days. That is how it looks all completely built up. You can see the airflow going in through these holes and down through there. No way of closing those off. Really, you have to close it on the chamber, on the top on the top cap, I should say. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like built up. Put it back together. It clicks into place. It has a set place to be in, easier on the mod to show you. But uh, you just twist it till it clicks and then adjust your airflow accordingly. And uh, there it is, good to go. The Blank RDA, let's go up top. Okay, guys, that was the Blank RDA from Asmodus down low. In a lot of ways, this is a really tremendous RDA. 
it's really well made. I really like the top cap design. I really like the airflow design and I really like the deck in a way. However, I'm just going to get straight into it. For me personally, this is crying out to be a dual coil RDA. It has the airflow of a dual coil RDA. It has the chamber size of a dual coil RDA. And I think the flavor would be insanely good in dual coil mode. Um, I'm, I'm on a single coil here at 66 watts. And really, to get the most out of this, I need to be up at 75 watts. It's a big, big chamber in there. You need a big, big coil in there. And it's got absolutely massive airflow for a single coil RDA. Also, because it is a single coil RDA, I would have liked to have seen it done slightly differently. I would have liked to have seen it being shorter, a more reduced chamber. I would have liked it if the airflow holes had been staggered so that you could close some of the holes and leave some of the other holes open. As it is, it's perfectly symmetrical air holes. So the only way to reduce it is to, sh to shrink each hole down and you get a slight bit of turbulence with that. Um, it doesn't close the inner air hole, so it's going in, down, and then back out of another hole, and there's no way of closing that hole down. So you're getting this sort of choked off vape style where it's restricting what you go in, but then it's w wide open in the chamber. So again, when you're turning this down and restricting it down, it's just not as nice a vape as if you go full bore. But that's, to go full bore with an atomizer like this, you're going like 75 watts on a single coil. So I think like it's a little bit of a mismatch. I would love to see a dual coil version of this RDA. I think it would be absolutely stellar. Or a 22 mil single coil version of this with a reduced chamber, a bit shorter and less air. Just generally less air available because it's a single coil. So... It is a tremendous vape. I'm really enjoying the vape and I love the style of the RDA overall, but I just feel like it's a tiny bit muted because it's almost a dual coil size deck, but a single coil RDA. It's a really nice vape. It's a really nice vape, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like a dual coil version of this could be absolutely stellar, like beyond brilliant you know I really feel like it could be um, so yeah it's a really nice RDA I, I really like the design I really like the style uh, I really like the airflow the fact that it's, it's top airflow but then it goes down right next to the coils it, it does work very very well the deck is super easy to use the only thing I would say my little note about the deck would be make sure you really clip those leads flush so you don't end up with leads touching the barrel um, but beyond that, I really like it. The O-rings are perfect. The drip tip is perfect. The airflow adjustment is easy and perfect. It's a really nice RDA. It really is a nice RDA all the way through. I just feel like it's too airy for a single coil, too big a chamber for a sim single coil. Now, it's such a good RDA that it, it doesn't matter too much. It's still a great vape, but I think it could be absolutely phenomenal vape absolutely phenomenal phenomenal vape if you could get two coils in here or it was heavily reduced in size if you already are someone that knows they love their high power single coil rdas so if you if you just love 60 70 watts at single coil then definitely definitely have a look at this rda definitely consider picking one up it's really smart rda but if you're a sub 50 watt single coil RDA user, maybe a squonker on a single battery, then maybe this will be too muted for you. Maybe that you won't be able to get the build you want in here um, and reduce the airflow enough for 50, below 50 watts. Over 50 watt single coil use, absolute two thumbs up. But I don't feel like this is the perfect RDA for you if you're at 30, 40, even 50 watts. Um, there are things you can do. Um, I would recommend trying out a, a really wide coil, so like a 3.54 mil diameter coil in here. Really thicken it out, get a nice fat alien wire in here or a Clapton wire in here. Really bulk it out, really take some of that chamber up with coil, get loads of watts through it, loads of cotton through that big wide coil, and you will get a stellar vape because this is a really nice RDA. I just feel like 
they should do two more versions of this. They should do a small, a much smaller single coil version and a, and an absolute beastly, exactly the same, but dual coil version of this. I think it would be absolutely rocking. Um, really good RDA, one thumb up from me. Um, I just, uh, yeah, I just see the potential in this airflow design, in this deck design, and I just feel like it could be absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, a mixed bag of a review. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.